All right. What's up, everybody? It's your man, Danelle, a.k.a. Small Guy Promotions, coming to you live with What's Up Omaha. And this week, my guest is Terry Wayne Ingram. Showtime Photography here in Bellevue, Nebraska. What's the address? 1025 Gavin Road. Gavin Road, right across from Bellevue University, uh, over in the same complex uh, as the, what, Ace Hardware. Yes. Over there. Dollar General. Um, our eye doctor is actually right over there. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> yep, and right next door to the Freeman Company. There you go. Right next door to the Freeman Company. Company. I'll make sure to share this in all the Bellevue groups uh, to let everyone know. I'm sure they probably already know about you because Bellevue is pretty tight knit. Yes, it is. So, uh, you know, the way that we met was through your wife. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you follow Small Guy Promotions, I put on vendor events. Uh, I started them to help small businesses and uh, nonprofit organizations and things like that to help raise awareness about the things that they're doing. So uh, she contacted me, and I think what happened was I added her to our small business group on Facebook, and then she might have added you or something. Yes. And I think and, we met at the Croc Center. Yeah, and then we yeah. ended up meeting. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So, you know, that's how it goes. Um, I, I'm a big believer in, well, you don't have to go to a networking event to network. Uh, there's other options to do that, but whatever interactions that you have, and you have a, the possibility of meeting someone, yes, uh, you know you can always take away from that, and you always have the opportunity to build on that relationship in some format. And even if nothing more than hey, someone's looking for a photographer, I'm like hey, I know someone who does photography. Yes, you word know, of mouth. Word of mouth, and like Terry was saying earlier before we uh, came on camera, there's a lot of. Photographers out there, a lot of competition. Yes. Um, but before we get into all that, let's start on your journey and your path into photography. Uh, so how long have you been doing photography? Uh, well, my wife told me I've been doing it, I guess, before I met her, I guess since 2006. 2006? So yes, I had a, little, had a little point and shoot then. Yeah. I didn't know what I know now. Yeah. But just started a little point and shoot. And then when I moved to Nebraska in 2010, uh, my wife gave me my first camera in 2013. Yeah. My first official, like <laughs> yeah, yeah, official, yeah. official camera yeah, in 2013. And from there, uh, that's when I just took off. Yeah. And so you were saying that uh, you also went to school uh, for photography? Yes. Uh, started school in 2014. I uh, did the uh, whole program out at uh, Elkhorn. Mm -hmm. Their program is awesome. And if you into photography and you want to learn. I recommend uh, the photography class at uh, Elkhorn. Uh, Metro Community College, yes. <laughs> uh, their photography class is awesome. Uh, so I started there in 2014. I graduated in 2016 with an associate degree in photography. Mm -hmm. uh, I still go out there when I, every now and then and see what's going on. Yeah. Uh, I want to go back and continue doing some other uh, classes with a uh, black and white film. I love film. Yeah. Film is awesome, yes. It keeps you from hitting the shutter button. <laughs> you have to concentrate. You have to take your time. Patience. And that's part of the things that you have to learn between, you know, different types of photography. Yes. There's, there's so many different types of photography. Just because you know how to shoot one style doesn't mean you necessarily know how to shoot another style. Exactly, right? yes. So, aside from the black and white, what what is your focus or what what is something that you really have a passion for, what kind of style? I have a passion for landscapes. Okay. I love, see, I'm from the country, I'm from Tennessee, so. See, I was gonna get to the, <laughs> I was like, you know, you can hear that he's not from Omaha, Nebraska. I can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But I was gonna say, you know, where, where you came from and, uh, you know, uh, but yeah, go ahead. Yes, yeah, so I'm originally from Tennessee and I was raised up on, in the country on a, on a farm and stuff, so anything with barns or old business, I love. Okay, cool, cool. I. I a couple of people come to mind when you say that uh, with photography that I know that uh, shoot that type of scene uh, just out in the country and whatnot, like falling over barn houses yes. and things like that. For some reason, it, uh, when I see barns, say it gives me a connection. Yeah, it brings me back to home. Yeah, and that's what I try to bring back in my photos. Uh, you know, some people see my work. Oh, it reminds me of this. And I tell, I say to myself, Oh, that's good. Yeah, because it, it connects them back to home. Right, right. So how did you like? You know, I know you said you started before about 2006. Yes. Like, what was your first picture? When did you know that that was like a thing that you liked to do? 
So when I got my first camera in 2013, me and my wife, we took a trip to uh, South Dakota. And I took uh, my pictures there. I went took pictures of uh, the monument and Crazy Horse. And someone saw my picture. Oh, you used to be a photographer. Said, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you get that all the time. So you used to be a photographer because you take good pictures. I yeah. was like, okay. So I took, a, I took a dab at it. And uh, I was still working at this one job. So I ended up hurting my back. So I had to find something else to uh, lean on. But I went yeah. into uh, electrical. Okay. So electrical was my second job. But I couldn't do all the bending and stuff. So I went to photography. Nice, nice. See, and I actually uh, was a part of a panel discussion at uh, Do Space uh, this past Wednesday with Isis Geertig. I don't know if you know her, uh, Princess Geertig. She has uh, B Star Boutique right now okay. uh, on Fort Crook. But she also is a teacher uh, for small business uh, classes through Metro. So this is the second time that she asked us to come out. And Diane from B&B, &B, yes. uh, she said, you know, once one door closes, another one opens. Yes. Because of her path to starting the restaurant business. Uh, Brianne Hines from Hines Glow had a similar thing. You know, she was laid out from her uh, job and had to find something else. So, that, I mean, that's what it is. Yeah. A lot of times when people have a, a life changing event like that, um, you know, maybe you get laid off, uh, maybe your company just goes down the down the drain for whatever reason, mm -hmm. uh, or maybe you have an injury or whatever it is, and some people just sit back and stew or like they yeah. try to figure out how they can collect that disability or whatever it no. is. But you know, that, that's great to see that you said no. I'm going to actually be productive and get something done. Yes. So, and that's a great way to uh, something that you love to do. Exactly. Yes. And know uh, with the photography, the me going to photography with my, you know, about my granddaughter. Yeah. So and we can I, talk about that. So if, if I had a real job. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be able to do the things I do because my wife she's not working and mm -hmm. everything. So this can kind of give me a little bit of flexibility. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So, uh, and I don't know if you want to touch on that now or anything because yeah, you guys are still collecting for for different medical costs. Yes. Yes. If yes. you wanted, you know, you can take a minute to talk about that. Yes. No, well. uh, my granddaughter she uh, we found out she had cancer, a women's tumor, uh, a couple of years ago or last year, and actually this is our second. Yeah, about with the yeah with the kind of, we thought it went to remission, but then it came back. Mm -hmm. Nah, it's in our lungs. Yeah, but she, she she's doing good. Uh, she was doing chemo. They stopped the chemo, and they're doing another treatment. They're doing radiation now, and the radiation uh, I guess is working pretty good because she had the, had any sickness. Yeah, oh that's that's good because I, I I watched those videos with with Shonda. Yeah, and, and I'm just like, oh man, like I don't. I don't know how you guys do it. Yeah, son. Well, my wife, she's she's a she's a she's a pusher. I mean, she she does everything. And Jersey, you know, like say with this new treatment, cause she's eating, yeah. <laughs> which is a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, cause the first she was she was really she was really eating. So now she's eating real good. She she she's a strong she's a strong little girl. She that's, really is. That's good. That, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Uh, it, so is she still doing the every 21 days? Uh, right now she's doing the radiation up until Wednesday next week and then I think that she's gonna be off of there for maybe a week or so. Then they're gonna go back to chemo, a different kind of chemo. Okay. Because the one she was taking last time was giving her, making her high, high fevers. Yeah. 101 and 106. Mm -hmm. oh. So, yes. So she was in the hospital every other week yeah. with a high fever. So they stopped that and they're gonna come back with a new uh, chemo. Okay, okay. So do you guys, I know you did the benefit a couple months back. Is there anything coming up uh, uh, I don't think my wife, I don't think she's got anything planned right now. Okay, well, if you guys are interested, I, I'm telling you, it's a it's a heartbreaking story. But this little girl is so strong. How old is she? She's seven. I have a seven year old, so that hits close to home. And I'm sorry that I missed that event. We oh, had no, else no, going problem. On. no problem. But if you would like to, you know, uh, donate or help out somehow with the cause, please reach out to me or to Showtime Photography. Um, you know, and he can tell you about things that they might be in need of or whatever they can use some assistance with. Um, you know, like I said, I have a seven-year-old. It, it hits close to home. I couldn't imagine it. And, like, the way that you guys are handling it is, yes. I mean, it, it's all you can do. You have exactly. to be strong and, exactly. like, try to figure yes. out a way to solve it. So we'll touch on, we've touched on that. So let's get back to uh, the photography. Okay. Uh, the reason that we're here. Right. You know, uh, so you started, you started taking pictures. Someone told you that hey, you should start doing it. Yes. So then, 
when did you actually take that seriously and say, okay, this is actually what I need to do? Okay. Oh. That's okay. Go ahead. Hi. One second, guys. Jamie, I talked to you about uh, the. We got to wait. He's a. Uh, He's got to take some business. That's what, what happens when you're doing live video. That's all right, though. So we're just going to take a trip and look at some of the photos that he has posted. And as we talk yes. about his wife. Yes, that's me. Thank you so that's much. That's Shonda up there. And then his son is right there and his wife again. Hey, Robin. Robin, we're uh, not doing selfie mode, so I, I couldn't see you commenting. Uh, yeah. Huh. But here are some of the wonderful pictures, and we'll touch on these pictures at the end. Yeah, this looks like funny. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. We'll have him talk about some of these photos that he's taken. And that's all right. We're we're about to be back, guys. Sorry for the interruption. But again, it's it's live, and that happens. It's okay. Gotta take care of business. That's what it's about. Yes. So. <clears throat> but yeah, so we were talking, uh, when did you uh, first take it seriously, take it seriously and decide that, yes, this is what I'm going to do? I first took it seriously when, uh, I can't remember the person's name, and said, you know, you should, you should really get into photography. Yeah. And then I said, oh, okay. Then I had a friend of mine, my wife, uh, he saw that I was interested. So he brought me a camera. He said, uh, what do you think about this camera? I said, uh, I like it. He said, when's your birthday? I said, my birthday is in February. This is like December. He yeah. said, happy birthday. Really? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, so yeah, so that was my second camera. And uh, since then, it's, been it, going. it's just been going, yes. So you don't have to give any of your trade secrets away or anything like that. But, you know, when you're doing your scenic photography, Yes. Are you doing all that here in like the Nebraska area? Yes. Or some, or well, uh, I do some in Nebraska. Also, if I get the chance, I do travel. Uh, I've been to Wyoming. I've been to Colorado twice. Uh, I'd love to go to some other places too. Yeah. If time permit. Do you ever go back home? And uh, I've been home once, but uh, it was a short trip. It was like go there, do what I need to do, and then come back. But okay. I would love to go there and branch out if I can. Yeah. So what is it, do you think that, I know you said, you know, it gives you kind of like a memory of home. What else is it that just, like, speaks to you to do photography? I mean, it just a, it's just a uh, sense of calmness. I mean, once you're out there, I mean, it's just you and, and the earth. I mean, it's just yeah. so quiet. And you might hear the birds uh, twerping, or what, twerping? <laughs> <laughs> chirping? <laughs> yeah, chirping. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just, you just have to by yourself. I mean, I could be out there for hours. Yeah. You know? And get oh snap! I gotta come home. So, and we talked about the one photo that we'll talk about later. Your yes. baby. Yes. <laughs> so, when you go out on a shoot, um, do you already know ahead of time what you're trying to get? Yes. Uh, when I was in school, uh, Ainsley Allen was one of the photographers, one of the pioneers. I wrote about him three times when I was in school. Yeah. Uh, he always said you don't want to visualize what you want to see first. So you pick it in your head, then you go out and you try to find it. Okay. Cool. Cool. So then you got to kind of know about some spots probably like yes. so you, you know either that or you can go out and you can scout then if it's not a uh, if it's not a good day then you can always come back yeah so that's why i've done that a couple of times so is it like when you go out so you have this picture in mind that you i, I didn't that was not a pun but yes. you have this idea in mind of a picture that you want to shoot and you go out and you don't maybe you don't see on that first trip are you still taking photos of other things while you're out there? Yes, I am. Do things come from, like, have you had any pieces that you're like, oh, man, I'm glad that I, I didn't get what I wanted, but I'm glad that I got this? Yes, I, I have did that. I actually, I've seen some pictures. Now, I do something called a composite. Okay. You take two pictures, then you merge them together. So if I see something that, if I'm going out and do a shoot and I don't like it, I see something else, I take a picture there and I save it. Okay. For later. And I'll show you, I'll show you something later on, you'll be like, really? Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right. Yeah, so I, I, I mean, I do take other other scenes and stuff, yes. And so, you know, in this, through all that, I, you know, you were on base. Yes, I was. Uh, with, with your business. Yes, for two years. For two years. So how long have you been in this location? I've been here going on two months. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm a newbie. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm a newbie, yes. So being in a new location, I mean, you're still relatively new as far as business goes. Yes. Uh, so what is the, did you already have kind of a clientele on the base that knew about I you? did, yes. Uh, I still got some of my friends that, that I met on base. They still come here. Okay, they, they, they keep in contact with me, yes. Okay. Is it, has it been any more of a challenge for you to, you know, get that, that uh, awareness out or to get that view because you're you're not right off of the street so people can't see you if they're driving by down Galvin exactly but. yes uh, I had some people uh, come by and ask my wife uh, she got us on Google mm -hmm. the yep. Google map yep. or whatever and I got a lot of contacts through that so have you put some of your pictures up uh, I think so I'm not sure okay you need to make sure to do that because if people are like searching for you and that pops up you take a couple, couple of these pictures and you post those up and people see your work. Oh. I mean, that's like, that, that will sell. Because right now, video and photography, that's like the hot thing that people, yes, you is. know, when they're searching for stuff, that's what catches their eye. And as okay. a photographer, I mean, I would think that that would be very beneficial for you, yes. for people to kind of see and they go to your website from there or whatever it is. Okay. And, uh, it, it's a really good thing. So, yes. Uh, so the scenic photos those aren't all that you do though you you branched out to no, a lot I, of different I, types I, I do have weddings uh, i do uh service member uh military photos i do uh babies i do senior pictures i do family pictures okay uh show those later uh okay. I, I did show over there okay. a little bit <laughs> okay your son in. yeah so I, i'm trying to i'm trying to branch out and, and do something different from what everyone else is doing but with the world now you know it's uh I don't know. It's uh, it's just a lot of competition. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yes. But I feel like, I feel like for maybe like the the family photos and weddings, and that type of stuff, the graduation or the senior pictures, senior pictures. for those type of things, a lot of competition. Yes. But when you get into the the more art driven photography, mm -hmm. you know, I, I feel like. There's a lot. Still, there's still a lot. Yes. But that's where you can make it very unique, I feel like. And see, I got a couple of things up my sleeve. I just haven't showed nobody yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sometimes you don't want to tell everybody everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You want to keep on the, on the wraps for a minute until you get yourself going. Then you can let it go. Yeah. And, and I feel like with that, I mean, you have more of a chance to, yes, there's competition, but there there's not a, a photo exactly like the one that you're making as to where yes if it's one of the family photos or a senior picture there might be however many others like that I yes. mean I, and I would assume that it's the same with most other types of art each photographer each art you, you guys are artists yes there's a diff something different and unique about each one of you and something that you like or something that you do in all your photos yes or, and that's the thing but you know it's trying to you know put, do something that's unique and some people call it branding yourself you know you want to you want to brand yourself so when they see that showtime photography oh, okay yeah he's different from they, the other. they know i tell you what i have a friend uh who he paints and he draws and whenever he posts something on facebook or instagram before i even see who posted it i know who, you know i know who is. drew it i mean he's his lines are just like i don't know what it is but it's you, something about pensive you know if you're watching i'm talking about you <laughs> uh he He's very unique in the way that, and just the the concepts that he comes up with okay. are very different too. Uh, like he'll draw a, like a goat with six eyes or something like that. Oh. Just just really oh, okay. different, <laughs> yeah, yeah. unique stuff. Yes. So uh, you know, you you are an artist as well. I don't want to shortchange anybody who's taking photos yeah, because yeah. photos are part of uh, people that take photos. They're artists too. Yes. yes, they are. And it's not only taking. I mean, like we talked about before we went live. You got to get the right angles, the right the right lighting yes um it's not always going to be uh the weather or where, whatever you, especially if you're outside it's not oh, going to yes. always cooperate with you so even when you take the photo you still have to do editing, editing and editing it can be a really it's a really big part it's for like doing video you know the editing part is is the yep. the the challenging part is it is that hard for you the editing part i mean i, 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 I kind of got a grip on it but there's still a lot to learn out there there's a lot to learn out there and how much time, so you're spending all this time when you're going out to shoot, um, like, if you're, if you're going through a shoot, like, how long 
or is there like an average time that it takes or is it just uh, just on one picture I don't know. If, I'm, if I'm just doing just my seeing seeing the pictures I might spend an hour I don't have on a picture yeah I look and say yeah it looks good and come back the next day I'm like no nah, I don't like that. <laughs> scratch it then go back and then do something else oh I like that yeah yeah then I get some approval from my wife and say what do you think yeah <laughs> if I would have not to have another pair of eyes I, I do that all the time too <laughs> if I write a blog or something like I show tomorrow hey can you read this just to make sure it sounds okay like this is you know yes so that's always good to have yes um I think this would probably be a good time to kind of okay go around sure and uh We'll cover that, and then we'll talk about the deals that you have going on okay. coming up for the for the uh, holidays and all that jazz. So these are magnets right here. Yeah. 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 So I can do any state. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So the little puffy clouds. I think the buildings with the lights on make it make it pop even more too. Yes, and now these are state cutouts, so like I said, I can do any any state. So I got Louisiana, that's where my wife is from, and then I'm from Tennessee, and then I got uh, Iowa, then uh, Nebraska. See, and I haven't seen seen anyone doing like this. I mean, you know, not that I'm a huge photography buff. Yes. But yeah, I've not seen these any. I've gone to a couple of art galleries and things like that, and I've not seen seen anything like that. And then over here, uh, this is my, my setup. These are my backdrops and my lights. Uh, I'm getting ready for a Christmas shoot next month with uh, Santa Claus and Mrs. Mrs. Claus. So will that be an open shooting uh, where like people can come in yes. and, and uh, take I a picture? I recommend uh, doing a uh, calling in and making an appointment. Okay. But we, we do do open, uh, open in. So, and when does that begin again? Uh, next, uh, so we're doing uh, November 10th and 11th uh, with the Santa and Mrs. Claus, but you can come in and do a, a Christmas picture anytime. Oh, okay. And you've got, I see you've got some other ones back there as yes. well as some other uh, backgrounds. Mm -hmm. So if people are looking and they, you know, are looking for a specific background, you might have it. Yes. So this is another nice picture. This is the same 1903 barn. I did a long exposure on that. Is that how the yes. okay? Mm -hmm. So I remember I was taking we was talking about the uh, taking the two images together. Mm -hmm. So that's two images together. It's a composite. You so, can't even tell what what is. I mean, you know, which right. from what. And then, like I said, once the more I stayed in photography, you know, it's all about lighting. You know, the lighting's got to match. You know, your subject's got to match with your back with your background. Yeah. So I assume that takes time too, because you got to go through all the the bank of photos that you yes. have to find the, the <laughs> yes, right one. Yes, exactly. Yes. Your wife says hello. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Am I doing okay? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and like I said, um, this is uh, one of my pictures. You no, know, like I said, I love Ansel Adams. When I was uh, when I was in school, I wrote about him a couple of times. But there's also another man, a famous photographer that's here, Thomas Mangerson. Okay. <clears throat> he has a showing down at the Durham Museum. And. Uh, he has his next, uh, he's doing a signing uh, the 27th, which is next Saturday. And um, I was hoping to go down there and uh, get a, a signed picture, but I have a shoot that weekend. Oh, man. So we also do uh, business, uh, not business cards. Uh, postcards. Postcards, too. I also got more coming in. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, the Tigers, yeah, the Tigers are, are, are my buddies. Shonda, you can go ahead and share the if you're still watching. If that's you, I'm not sure who is watching, but share the video. Let people know. All right, we're gonna go to your baby, baby now. Yeah, this is my baby. <clears throat> or did you want to do that one more? Ah, uh, no, we could do this one here. Okay, so, so here is his baby. This is my baby. As I was saying earlier, the photography is all about patience. It took me a month, four days a week, four of the day, just to get this one shot. And they knew me at the zoo. <laughs> and this is shot through the glass. So right here is a list. So every time I went there, she would put a paw up there. And she never would get up there. And I just kept on going and kept on going. When I when I, she got up there, I just started taking pictures. Oh man. I just yeah, I just went off. So stay right there and I So this has a, a thing on it. So as I was shooting, she started coming towards my camera. <laughs> nice. Looks so curious. What's going on? And as I said, uh, photography is not easy. It's all about patience. You have to be willing to uh, sacrifice some time, family time too. Now my wife gets on me every time because when I see clouds, I look out the back window like I'm a dog. Like, oh, <laughs> I think it's going to be something. <laughs> Man, you guys. Come in and see this for yourself. I mean, I, I know that this video is not doing the these photos, especially this one, Justice. You need to come in. Uh, when can they come in if they just want to come and look around? I'm open for uh, Tuesday through Friday from uh, 9 to 6, and then Saturdays from 9 to 3. Okay. Close on Sundays and Mondays. Man, you guys got to get here. Like... 
he's got a lot going on. Look, I'm going to show you these other ones. Like, what about this? Uh, was it a snow owl? Yes, that's a, uh, she, uh, she or he came down here in February. Uh, out at uh, 680 or 480 in Maple. And they thought it was hurt, but actually it wasn't. And he was off in the Polar Clover. And me and a friend of mine, we drove around six times taking pictures. Oh, man. There's so many different things, guys. Uh, you wouldn't believe this is in Omaha. Where's that at? It's at Cunningham Lake. I've obviously never been out there. <laughs> I, waited, uh, I waited three hours for that one. Man. And actually, this one here, I actually took my lunch out there and, and waited for that one, too. So out of all these that you have, what is the, is the uh, tiger? The tiger? Is yeah. that your favorite? Yeah, yeah, the tiger's my favorite. The tiger, then it go to, it'll go to this one, and then it'll go to this one. And uh, when I go to my, if I find something that I like, I always get permission. Because you never know what you'll find. Yeah, especially going to, you know, yeah. property. Uh, you got to be careful about trespassing. And Yes, uh, this one right here was shot at 5 o'clock in the morning. It was dark. You know, because me and the, the owner had a good report, uh, I pulled up, he came out with his coffee, hey Terry, and went back inside, and it was still <laughs> dark. And I waited for it. So that's the sunrise. Oh, man. So majority of the pictures I have are sunsets, but this is a sunrise, and uh, the other one, uh, uh, this is a sunrise. But everything else are sunsets. Those are always nice. You know, we everybody try to take pictures uh, with their phones, and then you see these pretty ones, man, but, you know... We, I'm not doing any editing, editing or anything. Nobody's. <laughs> yes, and like I said, uh, I mean, uh, getting a sunrise or a sunset is just like when you go fishing. Yeah, you might get one, you might not. You might get a bite, and you might not. So you just have to be patient. All right. And just keep going. Well, before we go, is there anything else that people should know uh, about you specifically in your business, Showtime Photography? Uh, you know. What is your your motto or whatever to get people to know that they should come and check you out? I am new. I mean, please come out and see me. Uh, I would love to help other small business. And when you know, I see your stuff, I'll be like, I want to, I want to, I want to be like uh, Danielle. Oh, so, man. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I mean, because I mean, <laughs> I mean, small business is going to help small business. Yeah. It's, it's, I mean, we're all the, in this the, the, the corporate people they're going to help themselves out, but we got to help ourselves out. So when yep. I go out. I always buy from the small business people. I don't yeah. go to the McDonald's and then the other places. I do the small business. And also, uh, next yeah, month... We can turn it around, so... <clears throat> next month, we have our Sandy and Me uh, photo shoot. All right, guys. Yep, and, and please, just uh, just come by. So stay right there. I got something for you. Uh, don't, don't move. I know you're a, a downtown Omaha person. <clears throat> so, yeah, so... Oh man! Yes, this is yours. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh man! You yeah, know what we we just moved. You know the pavilion. We got this new house and we got all this room and you know it's bare and we need to put stuff up. <laughs> yep. So this is from from Showtime Photography to you. Oh man! Thank yes, you, sir. man. Uh, you're welcome. You're most definitely welcome. All the hard work you. I see you out here grinding. Hey, I'm just trying to help where I can, <laughs> yes. man. Oh, that's that's beautiful. And let's get that uh, contact information for you. Where can everybody find you? So it's 1025 Gavin Road. Uh, we're in the University Plaza, right next door to Freeman Company. If you see the Ace Hardware Store, we're on the corner. Uh, my phone number is 731-267-4501. So don't let the 731 uh, pull you. I am in Bellevue, Nebraska. I just said uh, I keep my Tennessee number. <laughs> and you're on Facebook. Yes, I've Facebook. tagged the page here. Yes. Go check out his page. Hey, how you doing, Christy? Uh, Facebook, Instagram. Instagram. Uh, Twitter, I'm on there, too. Hey, he's on Twitter, too. So go check him out. Please, if you're watching this, help us by sharing this video. Uh, invite your friends. If you've liked any piece that you've seen, invite your friends. Maybe they'll like something as well. Uh, they can check him out on those platforms. Or, you know, if they want to come here, like, like you say, he's open Tuesday through Friday. Tuesday through Friday, 9 to 6. And then Saturday. It's, uh, 9 to 3. 9 to 3. He's got specials going on. You can come and get, you know, the background. He's got the backdrops set up for you. There's so many different things that you can come here and get if you're looking for an artsy uh, photo 
like maybe myself who just moved into a new home, he could help you with that. If you're getting holiday photos, senior pictures, senior we didn't even touch yes. on, oh, on that stuff too much. But let's, uh -huh. let's get that before we go so that the people know. So um, this is a one, two, this is actually three weddings that I did. So this is my first wedding. <laughs> that's my first wedding, then this is my second wedding, and that's my third wedding. Okay. And then I do models too. So like I said, if any, any one of the ladies want to do something glamorous or, you know, for their husband or boyfriend, I do that too. There you go. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in. And again, uh, if you're listening to this, watching this, please share and let people know about Showtime Photography and what they're doing, as well as Small Guy Promotions. Um, this video will be uploaded to YouTube for people to come back and watch later, and also uh, as uh, a podcast on the Anchor app. So look out for that in about a week or so. Hit the share button. That's all you got to do. Hit the share button. Oh, we're good. We're good. Shauna's on there yeah. giving you prices and everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that's the way you do it. Yeah. It's a family thing. Yeah, like it's a family I said, affair. Yeah, like I said, she, she's, she's a boss. <laughs> she, she does the hard work. I do the easy work. <laughs> <laughs> I see all those hearts coming up. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, this is, once again, Danelle Taylor, Small Guy Promotions. What's up, Omaha? Showtime Photography. Share, share, share. Thank share, you guys. Yes. Have a wonderful weekend. Laugh or smile, help someone else smile, laugh and help someone else laugh. That's what it's about. Yes. Have a wonderful weekend.